Y'all wanna know how I edit photos to get an idea of what the furniture is gonna look like before I paint it. There are two ways, one's easy, one's difficult. I'm gonna show you the easy one first. This is literally just through Instagram stories and it doesn't look great, but it will give you enough of an idea on what it's gonna look like. First things, just go to Instagram stories, swipe up and pick the picture. Then you're gonna go to the draw option and select whatever color you want. This is also really helpful if you have paint streaks of potential paint, because you can drag and drop the color and make it match. Now you can pick your size. I just doodle on top of it. So it's, again, it's not gonna be perfect, but it's a really good way to get a really quick glance at what it's gonna be. This is what I do in my own furniture. On Mock Up Monday, I do something different. Then you can go to the top and click highlighter as well. Hold on, I'm gonna do some gold feet here. So you can go do little gold feet, little gold knobs. You can change, you know, how big you can erase. Y'all know how to use Instagram stories probably. <laughs> okay. So you can also go to the very top and click highlight. So I am going to just use the highlighter on these areas. So I don't lose that texture. So I can remember what that texture is going to look like. And that gives me an idea of what this piece would look like if it were emerald and gold. Now let's do the second way. So this way is technically Photoshop. It's like a free online version of Photoshop. I have photo because I used to be a photographer. So it's gonna come a little more easy to me. It's really just learning the tools and kind of figuring it out as you go. Uh, but I'm gonna teach you, uh, I'm just gonna do a walkthrough of this one particular flip and show you the typical tricks I use and you might have to get creative with some flips. Let's get started. So you're gonna go to photopea.com. -E it's free. And then you're just gonna drag and drop. So I've got what I'm doing here. Let's use this one. I'm gonna drag and drop it in. And there are so many tools here that you can use. Um, this is one of the easier ways. So you can go up to this rectangle and just select it as a rectangle. Like if I'm painting this. And go to pick my color. Let's say I wanted to do this red, which is a very bold choice. And I would go to paintbrush. And I would increase my size a good bit so I'm not wasting time. And hardness is how hard the edges are. So that's very hard. And if I do lighter, see how it's kind of blurry so I'm gonna keep it hard just for these crisp edges so hard and then the opacity right now that's a hundred percent and if I lower the opacity you can see through it and I want to be able to see through it so I can see the design to go back you can go over here and undo it or you can just do control Z so I'm gonna do the opacity at around like anywhere from 80 to 90 percent typically that's a little too it depends on how the color looks so let's do like 76 okay that's good so if I do that, you can see I'm painting over here some of the ground and I don't want to do that. So I'm going to control, control Z it and I'm either going to manually do it by just painting and it's not going to be perfect, which I will say 10,000 times while teaching all this, but it's something. So that's one option. Okay. Another option, you can do control D to deselect and I'm going to go back, control Z, control Z. I'm going to go back to the very beginning and unselect that. Now, another option is you can go up to this little wand and right click, do quick selection. And this is a really cool tool where the Photoshop kind of decides what you may be wanting to select. And this one actually worked really easily. It never does it this easily. Um, see how it's manually selected all the stuff I'm gonna be painting. Now, um, say I did like that and selected this, you just go to minus and you just erase it. But doing this over and over can get really tricky. So. I'm gonna go back and undo that example. All right, so I have everything selected and I can do the same kind of thing. Go to that paintbrush and I am painting. Okay, so that gives you an idea there. And then if you wanted to just draw on, like say I wanted it to be black hardware, I would just make it smaller maybe, play around with the, you know, play around with what I would want. If, if I wanted to just be a knob, I would just do that. So you can play around with that. And another thing you can do, let's go to the beginning, is let's say I wanted to remove these legs. So there's a cool feature that is, let me find it. Okay, when you go to this Band-Aid, it's called the Spot Healing Brush. Make it a little bigger. And if I click that, it might take a second, but it is going to remove that foot and pull the information from places nearby in the photo. So it'll probably be a little piece of grass or concrete that it's gonna replace that leg with. And it can be a little slow, unfortunately, but you see it did it there. Now, another option is I'm gonna, you don't have to put a square around it, but I am just to keep this edge up here clear. I'm gonna make a rectangle box. Then I'm gonna use, I'm gonna drop, click this again and um, healing brush tool. 
So what I'm gonna do is, like if I click, it's gonna say select clone source by holding alt. So I'm gonna click alt right there and click. That's saying this spot is what I wanna copy and paste up here. I need to increase my size, too big. And I'm gonna decrease hardness on this one. All right, so I am just painting. See, you see how it's matching up from right here? Ooh, frozen, from right here to right there. I don't know why it turns it kind of brown. I think that's some kind of a glitch. And it's doing that because down here is black. So I'm just gonna do another Alt, set a new area. And it's not perfect, but it's better than nothing. All right, Control D select. And now if I ever wanted to do something like add a plant to the top. Okay, so if I wanna add legs, I can do this too. I'll go to my Canva. Oh, I already have one up. And what you do, I was doing this earlier to practice. What you do on here is, let's say I found a Google um, document, a Google picture, I'm trying to erase this, like this. Now you can get it from Canva or Google. And I put it on, I'm like, you know what? I want this plant. I'm gonna put the picture in, click edit image on Canva. Now I have Canva Pro, it's worth every penny in my opinion. I'm removing the background and boom, it remembers it. I'm gonna click share, download, transparent background and download. And I just did it already, so it'll already be there. Now I am going to, this is my downloads down here. I'm just gonna drag and drop it and boom, I've got my picture. And if I wanted to make it look like it's behind it, I'll go to this erase button. Yes, you have to ras rasterize it. I'm gonna make it a little bigger. And then you can just erase and boom, it looks like it's behind it. And you can do that with legs too. I can drag and drop legs that I have removed the background on on Canva and move it on there. Um, honestly, I think that this is about it. The, the other tip I can think of is if you ever decide, like let's select all this. If you ever, I'm not gonna sit there and be picky, okay? Because it might take a little while. But if I wanted to make this look more like natural unstained wood, I play around with filters. So I will go to actually image adjustments and I play around a lot with like um, hue and saturation. So I'll pull that up and I might do like saturation way down and kind of darken it and then I'll like lighten it up. I play around with these until I get the color of what I want. But that's my um, quick run through and all of these tools are so quick. So I can quickly explain. This is to add text. This is to lighten up, let me deselect. This is to lighten up a picture, boom. And you can do change all, you know, how light it is, how the size. If you left click, the burn tool is to make it darker. These are the tools I use. I don't know how to do everything. This is blur, which I don't typically use. And there's also um, sharpen, which makes it sharper. I don't use that. That's the erase tool. Um, that's the brush tool, the painting tool. These are the tools I use the, the, to remove the um, things I don't want in. That's the crop, which is a great option if you have a crooked picture. So say, you know, the, the top of the dresser was like this, it's a little angled, it would make it a lot harder to add on things. So I'll just like do this and, you know, straighten it up to make it make sense. And those are the tools I use. So when you're done, you can flatten the image like that. And then you can either command all copy and paste in your notes app, or you can just go up here and save it. Hope this helps.